This surprising vitamin after 50 is a miracle for improving blood circulation in your legs and feet. You might not think much about your blood circulation until it starts causing problems. Almost 30% of people over 50 struggle with poor blood flow, especially in their legs and feet. But what if I told you that there's one simple solution, a vitamin that could dramatically improve your circulation and help ease the discomfort that comes with aging? Imagine walking around your home, going for a stroll, or simply standing up without feeling the heaviness, swelling, or pain in your legs. Sounds too good to be true, right? But it's not. This often overlooked vitamin has been shown to help improve circulation, boost your energy levels, and make everyday tasks less of a struggle. Today, we're going to start exploring what makes this vitamin so powerful and why you might want to consider it as part of your daily routine. As we get older, our bodies naturally begin to change. It's not just our skin or our muscles, it's our circulatory system too. Blood circulation is a crucial part of keeping every part of our body healthy. It's the system that carries oxygen and nutrients to all your organs, muscles, and tissues. Without proper circulation, not only do your legs and feet feel heavy and uncomfortable, but you also might notice you don't have the same energy you used to. Things that were once easy, like walking, standing for long periods, or even sleeping comfortably at night, become much harder. Now, if you've ever wondered why your legs and feet are particularly affected as you age, here's the reason. They're the farthest points from your heart. That means your heart has to work even harder to pump blood all the way down to your lower extremities. But as we age, our blood vessels can lose elasticity and the heart might not pump as efficiently as it once did. This is why so many people over 50 experience poor circulation in these areas, leading to problems like swelling, cramping, cold feet, or even more serious issues like peripheral artery disease, PAD. And it's not just the physical discomfort that comes with poor circulation. When blood doesn't flow properly to your legs and feet, it can impact your whole life. Simple daily activities become a challenge, and over time, that lack of mobility can lead to even more serious health issues. Inactivity only worsens the situation, circulation slows even more, swelling increases, and you start to lose that freedom you once had. But here's where things get interesting. There's a natural, safe, and effective way to help keep your blood flowing smoothly, even as you age. It's not a medication. It's not a surgery. It's a vitamin, a nutrient your body might already be familiar with, but not enough people are talking about. And this one vitamin has the potential to be a game changer when it comes to improving circulation and reducing swelling in your legs and feet. A study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association backs this up. Researchers found that maintaining certain key vitamins in your body, like this one we're about to talk about, can significantly improve blood flow and reduce the risk of artery hardening, a common cause of poor circulation. This research suggests that by focusing on the right nutrients, you can support your vascular health and avoid some of the more severe complications of poor circulation, like leg cramps, varicose veins, and even blood clots. So, if you're someone who struggles with swelling, numbness, or tired legs, stay with me, because the solution might be simpler than you think. This number one vitamin for better blood circulation has helped many people over 50 regain their energy, reduce swelling in their legs, feet, and even hands, and improve their overall quality of life. In the next segment, we'll start uncovering exactly how this vitamin works and why it could be the key to better health as you age. But first, let me ask you, have you noticed changes in your own circulation? Maybe your legs feel heavy after a long day, or your feet are cold even in warm weather. If you've experienced any of these signs, you're not alone, and you don't have to settle for discomfort. There's a way to support your body naturally, and the best part? You don't have to wait for surgery or expensive treatments to start feeling the difference. Stay tuned because we're just getting started, and this vitamin could be the breakthrough you've been waiting for. As we get older, 
Changes in our bodies are inevitable, and one of the most significant systems affected is our circulatory system. It might not be something you think about every day, but poor blood circulation, especially in the legs and feet, is more common than you might realize. It's not just a minor inconvenience, it's a serious health issue that can affect your energy, mobility, and overall quality of life. By the time many people hit 50, their circulatory system begins to slow down. But why does this happen? Well, it starts with how the heart and blood vessels work together to keep your body running smoothly. Blood flow is essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients to all your organs, muscles, and tissues. But this process doesn't always work as well as it should as we age. The blood vessels, which are supposed to be flexible and strong, begin to lose elasticity. This hardening makes it more difficult for blood to travel, especially to areas farthest from the heart, your legs and feet. Think of it this way. Your heart is like a pump, pushing blood through a network of highways, your arteries, veins, and capillaries. Over time, these highways can get clogged with debris or plaque, making it harder for blood to get through. Combine this with a heart that isn't pumping quite as efficiently as it used to, and you have the perfect recipe for circulation problems. When blood flow slows down, especially in your legs, you start to notice symptoms like swelling, cold feet, or even painful cramps. For some, it might be a minor discomfort at first, but left unchecked, poor circulation can lead to more serious conditions like peripheral artery disease, PAD, or chronic venous insufficiency, CVI. These issues aren't just painful, they can limit your mobility and keep you from doing the things you enjoy. But it's not just about what happens on the surface. Poor circulation impacts your entire body. When your legs and feet don't get enough blood flow, they're not receiving the oxygen and nutrients they need to function properly. This can make simple activities like walking or standing for long periods feel exhausting. Over time, it can create a cycle of inactivity, where the less you move, the worse your circulation gets, which in turn makes it even harder to stay active. This can have a cascading effect on your overall health, leading to muscle weakness, fatigue, and even mental health issues like frustration or isolation. Recent studies have shed light on just how serious this can be. Research from the American College of Cardiology found that poor circulation, especially in the lower limbs, significantly increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. In fact, people with PAD are more likely to experience major cardiovascular events than those without it. This shows that the circulation problems you feel in your legs aren't just an isolated issue. They're a sign that your whole circulatory system is under strain and addressing these symptoms is crucial for your long-term health. So, what's happening in your body when circulation starts to falter? One major factor is the buildup of plaque in the arteries, known as atherosclerosis. This buildup can restrict blood flow, making it difficult for your heart to push blood to the outer edges of your body, particularly your legs and feet. The arteries harden, and over time, this can lead to conditions like PAD, where the reduced blood flow causes pain, cramping, or even more serious problems like ulcers or infections. Then there's chronic venous insufficiency, which occurs when the veins in your legs don't function properly. Normally, the veins are supposed to push blood back up to your heart, but if the valves in the veins are weakened, blood can start to pool in your legs. This leads to swelling, discomfort, and in severe cases, varicose veins or deep vein thrombosis, DVT, a potentially life-threatening condition where blood clots form in the deep veins of the leg. But circulation issues aren't just about pain or discomfort. They can limit your ability to live life the way you want to. The swelling, cramps, and fatigue that come with poor blood flow can make it harder to stay active, which is one of the best ways to maintain your health as you age. When it hurts to walk or stand, you're less likely to engage in physical activities, and this inactivity can lead to weight gain, further complicating circulation issues. It's a vicious cycle, one that many people find hard to break without the right approach.
It's not surprising then that many people over 50 find themselves searching for ways to improve their circulation. Traditional treatments like compression stockings, medications, or even surgery are common, but they often focus on managing the symptoms rather than solving the root cause of the problem. And as we all know, medications come with side effects and surgery involves risks that can be daunting. But there's a natural way to help your circulatory system stay strong as you age without relying on invasive treatments or medications with harsh side effects. This simple yet powerful solution has been shown to improve blood flow, reduce the symptoms of poor circulation, and help maintain overall vascular health. In the next segment, we'll start uncovering the science behind this number one vitamin for better blood circulation. You'll see how it helps your body maintain healthy blood flow, especially in your legs and feet where it's needed the most. And the best part? It's a natural solution that supports your health from the inside out. So stay tuned because what comes next could be the key to keeping your legs and feet feeling great as you age. For many people, circulation issues might start small, an occasional feeling of heaviness in the legs, a bit of swelling after a long day, or maybe cold feet even when the weather isn't chilly. But over time, these minor annoyances can turn into significant challenges, impacting everything from your mobility to your overall well-being. Poor circulation doesn't just affect your body physically, it can influence how you live your life, from the activities you enjoy to how you feel emotionally. When your legs and feet aren't getting enough blood flow, you're not just dealing with discomfort, you're facing limitations that can disrupt your everyday life. Imagine trying to take a walk around the neighborhood, work in the garden, or even stand up for too long at a family gathering, only to be held back by throbbing legs or swollen feet. It's frustrating and, unfortunately, all too common for people over 50. The pain, fatigue, and swelling associated with poor circulation can make even the simplest tasks feel overwhelming. But why does poor circulation impact your life so much? When blood flow is restricted, your muscles aren't getting the oxygen and nutrients they need to perform properly. As a result, activities that used to feel effortless, like climbing stairs or taking a short walk, can suddenly feel exhausting. You might find yourself needing to sit down more often or avoid certain activities altogether, which only worsens the cycle of inactivity. Dr. Steven Sinatra, a renowned cardiologist, explains that Good circulation is the foundation of energy and vitality. When your body's cells aren't getting the oxygen they need due to poor blood flow, it affects every part of your body, from your ability to move to how your brain functions. His words highlight how crucial healthy circulation is for staying active and alert, especially as we get older. And the problem isn't just physical. As your mobility decreases, it can take a toll on your mental and emotional health too. When you're unable to participate in the activities you love, whether it's playing with your grandkids, going for a walk, or simply being independent, it can lead to feelings of frustration, isolation, and even depression. Research published in the British Journal of General Practice shows a strong link between physical health and emotional well-being, especially in older adults. The study found that limited mobility, often caused by circulatory issues, can significantly increase feelings of loneliness and lower quality of life. This makes sense when you think about it. When circulation problems slow you down, you may avoid social situations, skip physical activities, or even stop going out as much. It's not just the pain or discomfort that holds you back, it's the loss of freedom and that loss can affect how you see yourself and your role in the world around you. There's another aspect of circulation issues that often goes overlooked, the strain on your heart. When blood isn't flowing properly to your legs and feet, your heart has to work even harder to try and keep up. This constant strain can lead to more serious health conditions, like high blood pressure or even heart disease. Dr. Michael Greger, an expert in public health and nutrition, Notes in his book, How Not to Die, that circulatory problems are not just a symptom of aging, they are a warning sign that your cardiovascular health is at risk. 
addressing circulation issues early can prevent bigger problems down the line. It's also important to understand that poor circulation is often tied to other health conditions. For example, people with diabetes, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure are more likely to experience circulatory problems. As blood vessels become damaged or clogged, the blood flow to your legs and feet decreases, which can lead to symptoms like swelling, cold extremities, or painful cramping, particularly after physical activity. A recent study from Harvard Medical School emphasized this connection, showing that people with circulation issues are at a significantly higher risk of developing serious cardiovascular diseases. The research found that those who address their circulation problems early on through lifestyle changes and proper supplementation were able to reduce their risk of more severe complications like heart attacks and strokes. This brings us to the psychological impact of poor circulation. When your body doesn't cooperate with what your mind wants to do, it can create a feeling of helplessness. Over time, this can lead to a cycle of inactivity, where the more you avoid physical activity due to pain, the worse your circulation becomes. Dr. Dean Ornish, a well-known physician and researcher, once said, your body and your mind are intimately connected. If your circulation is poor, your energy levels, mood, and overall sense of well-being will suffer. The good news is, you don't have to accept poor circulation as an unavoidable part of aging. There are natural ways to improve blood flow and regain your sense of vitality. While traditional treatments like medication or surgery can offer relief, many people are turning to natural solutions that address the root cause rather than just managing symptoms. In the next segment, we'll explore one of the most effective natural solutions for improving blood circulation and reducing the discomfort caused by poor blood flow in the legs and feet. This vitamin has been scientifically proven to help keep your blood vessels healthy and flexible, ensuring that blood flows where it's needed most. It could be the key to getting back the energy and mobility you've been missing. When faced with circulation issues, most people turn to conventional treatments. From medications and compression stockings to surgeries, these methods are often the go-to options recommended by doctors. And while they can provide temporary relief, they come with their own set of limitations and risks. The question is, are these solutions truly addressing the root of the problem, or are they just helping you manage the symptoms? Let's start with medications. Many doctors prescribe drugs like blood thinners or vasodilators to improve circulation. These medications help widen your blood vessels and reduce the risk of clots, allowing blood to flow more freely. However, they don't always work without complications. Blood thinners, for instance, can increase the risk of excessive bleeding, even from minor injuries. Dr. John O'Neill, a vascular surgeon at Mayo Clinic, explains, while medications can be effective for managing symptoms, they're not without side effects. Over time, relying too heavily on these drugs can put you at risk for other health problems. Compression stockings are another common treatment option, especially for people with conditions like chronic venous insufficiency. These tight, elastic garments help push blood up from the legs back toward the heart, reducing swelling and discomfort. While this can bring some relief, many people find these stockings uncomfortable to wear, especially in hot weather. Plus, they only address the symptom, swelling, without tackling the underlying cause of poor circulation. Dr. Caldwell Esselstein, a world-renowned physician known for his work in cardiovascular disease prevention and reversal, notes that simply managing symptoms with treatments like compression stockings is like putting a Band-Aid on a deeper wound. You're treating the discomfort, but you're not solving the actual problem. And then there's surgery. For severe cases, doctors often recommend procedures like angioplasty, where they open blocked arteries, or bypass surgery, which reroutes blood around a blocked artery. While these surgeries can be life-saving, they're invasive and come with significant risks, including infection, blood clots, and long recovery times. Not to mention, surgery doesn't guarantee that the circulation issues won't return. 
A recent study from the American Heart Association shows that surgical procedures for circulation problems can be effective in the short term, but the risk of recurrence is high if lifestyle changes and proper care aren't implemented afterward. The study found that nearly 30% of patients who undergo angioplasty for peripheral artery disease experience a re-narrowing of their arteries within a year, often requiring repeat surgeries. It's clear that these conventional treatments, while helpful in some situations, are far from perfect. They often address the immediate symptoms, but fail to get to the core issue, why the blood flow is compromised in the first place. This leaves many people stuck in a cycle of managing symptoms without ever finding a true solution. Dr. Michael Murray, a naturopathic physician and author of the Encyclopedia of Natural Medicine, has long advocated for a more holistic approach to health, particularly when it comes to circulation. What many people don't realize, he says, is that poor circulation is not just a standalone issue. It's often the result of other factors like inflammation, nutrient deficiencies, or lifestyle habits. Treating it with drugs or surgery doesn't solve the underlying cause, and in many cases, it can lead to further complications. Murray's insights are crucial. Addressing circulation problems with medications or surgery can be like patching a leaky pipe without fixing the source of the leak. You might get temporary relief, but the problem continues to grow beneath the surface. This is why many people over 50 are looking for alternatives, natural, less invasive ways to improve their circulation without the side effects or risks of conventional treatments. It's not just about avoiding discomfort in the legs and feet. It's about finding a long-term solution that supports your overall health. Fortunately, there is a way to address poor circulation naturally without relying on medications or surgery. In the next segment, we'll discuss a simple yet powerful solution that targets the root causes of circulation problems. Keeping your arteries flexible, reducing inflammation, and ensuring blood can flow freely to every part of your body. And the best part? It's something your body already recognizes and can easily absorb. But before we get to that, I'd love to hear from you. Have you or someone you know tried conventional treatments like medication, compression stockings, or surgery for circulation problems? What was the experience like, and did it truly solve the problem? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for the natural solution that could make all the difference. Now, let's talk about something truly game-changing, a natural science-backed solution that not only addresses the symptoms, but gets to the root cause of circulation problems. This is where the power of vitamin K2 comes into play. Vitamin K2 may not be as well known as some other vitamins, but its impact on circulation and overall cardiovascular health is undeniable. This vitamin plays a critical role in helping the body direct calcium to where it belongs, into your bones and teeth, and away from your arteries. By keeping calcium out of your arteries, vitamin K2 helps prevent arterial calcification, ensuring that your blood vessels stay flexible and healthy. Dr. Leon Schergers, a leading researcher in the field of cardiovascular health at Maastricht University, emphasizes the importance of this vitamin saying, vitamin K2 is crucial for maintaining healthy arteries. Without enough K2, calcium can build up in the blood vessels, leading to stiffened arteries and restricted blood flow. This is especially important for older adults who are already at higher risk for circulation problems. As we age, our blood vessels naturally start to lose some of their elasticity, which makes it harder for blood to flow smoothly through the body, especially to the legs and feet, which are the farthest from the heart. This is where vitamin K2 shines. It helps your arteries remain supple, reducing the risk of calcification that can block blood flow and lead to more serious complications like peripheral artery disease, PAD, or deep vein thrombosis, DVT. A study published in Thrombosis and Hemostasis found that people who took regular doses of vitamin K2 had significantly lower levels of arterial calcification compared to those who didn't. This study shows that not only does K2 prevent the stiffening of arteries, 
but it can also help reverse existing calcification, improving overall blood flow and circulation. The way vitamin K2 works is both simple and profound. It activates a protein called matrix glay protein, MGP, which binds to calcium in your bloodstream and makes sure it's transported to the bones rather than depositing in your arteries. Without enough K2, MGP remains inactive and calcium can settle in your arterial walls, slowly hardening them over time. This process is what leads to circulation problems, particularly in older adults. Dr. Kate Reumblu, a naturopathic doctor and author of Vitamin K2 and the Calcium Paradox, explains it well. The function of Vitamin K2 is like a traffic cop. It tells calcium where to go and keeps it out of places where it doesn't belong, like your arteries. Without enough K2, the calcium you take in could be doing more harm than good. It's easy to overlook this vitamin when we talk about circulation and heart health because much of the focus tends to be on more well-known nutrients like vitamin D or omega-3s. But the science is clear. Vitamin K2 plays a vital role in keeping your blood vessels healthy and maintaining good circulation, especially as you age. Now that we've established how vitamin K2 supports healthy circulation, let's talk about how you can get it into your diet. While vitamin K2 is essential for your circulation and overall health, it's not always easy to get enough of it through diet alone. The most potent source of vitamin K2 comes from natto, a fermented soybean dish popular in Japan. However, natto's strong smell and taste can be off-putting for some people. Fortunately, there are other sources of K2, though they might not provide as much as natto. Fermented Foods Aside from natto, other fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and certain cheeses, particularly hard or aged varieties like gouda and brie, are good sources of K2. The fermentation process boosts the K2 content in these foods, though the levels are typically lower than in natto. Animal Products Meat, particularly organ meats like liver and eggs, specifically the yolks, also contain small amounts of vitamin K2. Products from grass-fed animals tend to have higher K2 levels than those from conventionally raised livestock. Butter from grass-fed cows. If you prefer dairy, butter from grass-fed cows provides a modest source of vitamin K2. Grass-fed butter is richer in K2 compared to regular butter because it comes from cows that graze on vitamin-rich grass. Supplements. If you're not getting enough K2 from your diet, supplements can be a reliable option. When choosing a K2 supplement, you'll often find two main forms, MK4 and MK7. While both are effective, MK7 has a longer half-life in the body, meaning it stays in your system longer and is more bioavailable. Experts like Dr. Rome Blue recommend MK7 for this reason, suggesting a daily intake of 90 120 micrograms for optimal cardiovascular and bone health. It's worth noting that vitamin K2 works best when paired with vitamin D. These two vitamins work synergistically. Vitamin D helps with calcium absorption, while K2 ensures that the calcium goes to the right places, like your bones, instead of your arteries. Taking both together can significantly enhance their effects on your circulatory health. Dr. Joseph Mercola, a well-known physician and best-selling author, highlights this relationship. When you combine vitamin D with K2, it's like giving your body the complete instruction manual for calcium. You're not just absorbing calcium, you're directing it to the right places. Incorporating K2 into your diet, whether through food or supplements, could be one of the most effective ways to improve your circulation and keep your blood vessels in optimal shape as you age. Given its ability to reduce arterial calcification and maintain flexibility in your arteries, it's a powerful natural solution for those struggling with circulation problems. With the importance of vitamin K2 now clear, it's easy to see why this nutrient has the potential to transform your circulatory health. Whether you get it through fermented foods, 
grass-fed animal products, or supplements. Ensuring that you have adequate vitamin K2 levels can have a profound impact on your mobility, comfort, and overall well-being. Now, I'd love to know, have you ever heard of vitamin K2 before today? If not, does its role in circulation surprise you? Let me know in the comments and be sure to stick around because in the next segment we'll dive into real life stories of people who have transformed their circulation and quality of life with the help of this incredible vitamin. Sometimes, it's one thing to hear about the science behind a supplement, but it's another to see how it works in real life. When it comes to vitamin K2, the positive impact it has had on people struggling with circulation issues is nothing short of inspiring. Let's take a moment to explore a few stories that demonstrate just how transformative this vitamin can be. Stories of individuals who saw significant changes in their mobility, comfort, and overall well-being after incorporating K2 into their routine. Take Susan, for example. At 62, she had always been active, enjoying gardening and walks in the park. But over the past few years, she had started to experience painful swelling in her legs and feet. At first, she dismissed it as just a sign of aging. But as the discomfort grew worse, it began to affect her quality of life. She found herself avoiding her favorite activities because standing for too long became unbearable. After trying compression socks and various medications to no avail, she began looking for something more natural. That's when a friend suggested she look into vitamin K2. Skeptical at first, Susan decided to give it a try, starting with a supplement that contained MK7, one of the most bioavailable forms of K2. Within a few weeks, she began to notice a change. The swelling in her legs decreased, and the heaviness she felt every time she stood up seemed to disappear. For the first time in months, she could enjoy gardening again without needing to take constant breaks. As she put it, I didn't expect such a difference, but now I can't imagine going without it. Dr. Natasha Turner, a naturopathic doctor and author of The Hormone Diet, highlights Susan's experience as a classic example of how vitamin K2 can help. By keeping your blood vessels healthy, vitamin K2 allows for improved circulation, reducing swelling and pain in the legs and feet. It's one of the most effective ways to maintain mobility and quality of life as we age, she explains. Then there's Mark, a former marathon runner. In his younger days, Mark could run for miles without thinking twice. But as he crossed into his 50s, he noticed something alarming. His feet would often turn cold and purple after long periods of sitting. Walking upstairs, something he used to do effortlessly, now left him winded and his legs feeling heavy. His doctor diagnosed him with peripheral artery disease, PAD, and recommended surgery to improve blood flow to his legs. But Mark wasn't ready to give up on finding a non-invasive solution. After doing some research, Mark stumbled upon information about vitamin K2 and its role in preventing arterial calcification. He started taking a daily supplement alongside vitamin D to help his body absorb calcium more effectively. Within a few months, he began to feel a noticeable improvement. His legs no longer felt as fatigued, and the color in his feet returned to normal. Mark credits vitamin K2 with giving him a second chance at staying active. I'm not running marathons anymore, but I'm out walking every day. I feel like I have my legs back, he says. Dr. David Perlmutter, a board-certified neurologist and author of Grain Brain, explains why Mark's transformation makes perfect sense. When we talk about vascular health, especially in the legs, maintaining flexible arteries is critical. Vitamin K2 is the nutrient that helps ensure calcium is deposited where it belongs, in the bones, and not in the arteries. This is why people like Mark see such dramatic improvements in their circulation after incorporating K2. These personal stories are more than just anecdotal evidence. They're backed by science. A recent study from the Journal of Vascular Medicine found that individuals who added vitamin K2 to their diet saw significant improvements in both blood flow and arterial health. The study tracked participants over a two-year period and showed that those who consistently took K2 had lower levels of arterial stiffness 
and experienced fewer symptoms of PAD compared to those who didn't. This research is a powerful validation of what many people have experienced firsthand. K2 is a game changer for circulatory health. It's not just about physical benefits either. For many people, poor circulation can lead to feelings of isolation and frustration. When simple activities like walking, standing, or even sitting become uncomfortable, it's easy to withdraw from social situations. Improving circulation isn't just about the physical, it's about reclaiming your independence and confidence. Susan and Mark are just two examples, but there are countless others who have experienced similar transformations. What's clear from these stories is that vitamin K2 is much more than just a supplement. It's a tool that can help people regain their freedom and enjoy life without the constant burden of swelling, discomfort, or restricted mobility. Dr. Kate Shanahan, a family physician and author of Deep Nutrition, puts it best. When we're talking about aging well, mobility is key. And keeping our blood vessels healthy with nutrients like vitamin K2 is one of the most natural and effective ways to maintain that mobility into our later years. And now that you've heard these stories, you might be wondering, could vitamin K2 make a difference in your life? Whether you're dealing with swelling, cramps, or simply feeling like your legs don't have the energy they used to, it's worth considering how this vitamin could support your circulation and overall health. As we move into the final segment, we'll sum up everything we've learned and talk about the simple steps you can take to incorporate vitamin K2 into your daily routine. But before we get there, I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried natural solutions like vitamin K2 before? What's been your experience with managing circulation issues? Let's continue the conversation in the comments, and who knows? Your story might inspire someone else to take that first step toward better health. We've covered a lot of ground, everything from understanding how circulation affects your day-to-day -day life to hearing real stories of people who've experienced life-changing results with vitamin K2. Now it all comes down to one thing, taking action. The signs of poor circulation, swelling, discomfort, fatigue, are signals from your body that shouldn't be ignored. But you don't have to settle for discomfort or invasive treatments that only manage the symptoms. You have the power to improve your circulation naturally with a nutrient that's backed by science and trusted by experts worldwide. Dr. Joel Kahn, a cardiologist and author of The Plant-Based Solution, has said, the smallest changes in your diet and lifestyle can lead to the biggest improvements in your heart and circulatory health. That's the beauty of vitamin K2. It's a small change with the potential for a big impact. By incorporating this vitamin into your daily routine, you can help keep your arteries flexible, support healthy blood flow, and reduce the discomfort that's been holding you back. So now, the question is, are you ready to make that change? Imagine getting back to the activities you love, walking without pain, standing comfortably, and feeling energized again. It's not just about adding a supplement, it's about taking control of your health naturally and effectively. What's stopping you from trying something new? Have you experienced circulation issues? And if so, what steps have you taken to improve them? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you're working toward better health. And don't forget, your journey toward improved circulation and overall well-being starts now. By choosing the right nutrients, you're not just managing symptoms, you're supporting your body to heal and thrive. Let today be the day you take that first step toward healthier, more vibrant living.